Okay, so below this video, just go to the Dropbox, download these files. All right, you're gonna open up this one. The first step is you have to create a root user account. You're gonna copy that. You can go up here, type in terminal. You can open the terminal. You can paste that in. And I'm gonna enter in my user account for this computer password. Just the authorized action. And enter. Now I'm gonna type in my new password. And then I'm gonna confirm it. Let's see if I can get this right. Alright, so now I've successfully set a password. Next, I'm gonna copy and paste this into the account. And I've actually already done this. So it's probably gonna say something like, hey, we've already done this. And there, it's done. Alright, now I'm gonna restart the computer. And I'll be back. Shut down. Restart. Okay, so here you are at the login. And here's like your normal login. And then here's your root login that we just created. Um, if you don't have a login screen set up, then you'll just have to go up to this upper corner and hit log out. And that'll bring you to this screen. So I'm just going to put it in. Put in my password. I'm not gonna tell you what that is. Boom. Now I'm logged in as root. Okay, so now we just need to go and update the grub file. So we're gonna go to the home folder. That's my username. We're gonna go to the downloads. And grab this grub. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna go back here, we're going to go to etc, I'm going to scroll down to the default folder, and once we're in the default folder, we're going to paste that, we're going to replace it, and because we're root, that works successfully, if you're not root, you just get a message that says you can't do that, okay, now we're going to go once again, to our home folder, Blender, our downloads. We're gonna open this up, and we're now at step four. We need to update the grub. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna come up here to the terminal, paste that in, and the grub is updated. Now all we have to do is restart, and everything will be working good. And okay, now we're logged back in, and here's the hard drive. Pop that open, and I'll just do a transfer here so that we can see. Let's see, where's that file? It's called. There it is. Now I'm going to just transfer this to the desktop, and you can see. shows us the transfer speed here. There we go. If that was USB 2.0, it'd be like 40 meg. So we're like right about 95 meg. I've got about 100 meg sometimes, but yep, that's USB 3.0 working. Alright, see you next time.